dear Philip, this evening was wonderful. Thank you for letting me feel happy and young again. I still want to remind you that if this adventure with letter chatting is boring for you, just use this number for calling me. Gently hug you, your Elizabeth. Dear Elizabeth, my hands help to express the most sincere feelings to you. I just didn't touch my typewriter, although I spent most part of my life working with it. I hope that you are free this Thursday, since I'm going to make a surprise for you. I really hope that the state of my health won't let me down, and I will dare do what I have been waiting for a long time. I am infinitely happy that we have found each other. Look forward to the meeting with you. Your Philip. I found a cozy and cinematic location and thought I must make an art project here and I made it. The type of this location is my passion because this place has the power to look awesome inside the frame. I don't have to make additional efforts to add the props in this place, which helped me focus on the lighting, work with composition and other things. Let's look at how we made the ring project. Before filming I have done a scouting, where I have taken a few pictures of all the interesting points for shooting. As a result, I had about enough potential places for this story. About this story. Since this project is art, my wife and I made a story after researching interesting place. Due to its quite simple way of making film, priority based on the visual part against deep and complicated plot. Having pictures and the script, we collected a few suitable colors for the visual concept of the video. I have chosen the color of mustard, white tones for the clothes, because this looks harmonious with the wooden walls and brown house in the background. My wife advised me not to use dark tones on the clothes for, of the actors, because the main character has quite a contrasting appearance with dark hair and eyes. With black clothes, her look will be dull and too dark. So, I used Red Komodo and Loma anamorphic lenses. It was 35, 50 and 80 mm. The decrease of coefficient of this lens is 2x1. And using 35 mm, I can cover quite a large view in the frame. Also, it has expressive all bokeh, warm tone and little color distortion on objects contours, which looks like a halation of film. And one more thing. Lama has breathing during focusing. For camera moving, as before, for the art projects, I used an Adola slider with heavy and smooth head. So, the main tool here is a powerful light system from Godox. This is M600D model, which has a huge power of lighting. You can see this light power in this scene, even if natural light is here. Using the abilities of this light source, I can mix it with ambient light and create areas with highlights and beams of lights. At the same time, working both with natural and additional light, I have to have an LED source of not less than 500 watts of power, because any light source with less power can complicate it with the power of natural daylight, even on the cloudy day. Let's look at how we lit this scene. The beginning of filming this scene started from a long shot. And then we worked with close-up shots. Consequently, the main light scheme was built on a long shot. It was the middle of the day and we had a lot of natural soft light from the window. 
The sun looked to the other side, not to the seen side. All these beams of light from Godox M600E, which we used with Fresnel lens for hard and focused light. For deep shadows, we put negative fill behind the camera side to the left. It saves expressive contrast between shadows and lights. Since this place is old and for a long time nobody lived here, we did some haze which had to look like dust. His machine helped us with this task. For background light and backlight, we used two light sources of M600D. The right side light is bounced from the backlight of M600D light flow. If I wanted to make this scene with cheap way, I would use several mirrors to reflect the sun and make the same light scheme. But we had cloudy weather, and this scene took quite a long time this way. We had the risk to lose a sunlight at any time. If you still don't know about my secret techniques of making cinematic light schemes and working with color props design of the scene, you can learn it in my online course, where you will master an algorithm of creating cool art scenes by means of set design and cinematic lighting. When we were filming this scene, it was in the end of sunset. You can notice cold temperature in the left part of the frame. This is window light. Sunset here is almost gone. And for lighting we use Godox M600D with the Fresnel lens. This backlight scheme works only with one light source. For beams of light we use the haze. Since this place was on the second floor, we used heavy stands for Godox light. Because we needed to achieve not straight light, but the light falling at the angle. For this we should use heavy and high stands. I love to use powerful light, because this helps me to make different ways of light schemes in the scene, using not many sources. Here we just switch an angle of shooting and put the actors from the light flow into the shadow side. We got a silhouette, saving the same direction of light. The haze still helps me to show the window area brighter, showing beams by means of Godox and separating background from the foreground with the actress. Working in the exterior, oftentimes I work with the sun as a powerful and free light source, but there are nuances. This is quite an uncontrollable way. When the weather is cloudy or rainy, if I see that the sky is clean, I'm sure that I can use the sun for filling, because I will have the same exposure on all the shots outside. Working with cloudy weather, I had the risk of getting the shots with different brightness and different light hardness from frame to frame. It's quite risky and a long way of shooting. We were lucky in the sky in this moment, it was clean. We used sunlight as a backlight and silver for a balanced side light for the actress. And for the shadows, we used negative fill. It was ultra balanced cloth with a black side gripped on the trees. So, hug you. Bye.